Welcome back. It's another interview tonight. Tonight we're doing Chandler's interview. Chandler, come on in, buddy. All right, I got you, homie. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Well, yeah, take a seat. All right. All right. How are you doing tonight? I'm pretty good. Pretty good. You look pretty. Why well, that sweater looks fucking hot as hell? Cause it's no, dude. Shit, you know? I'm fucking cold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Whatever. Want to get on to the questions? All right, sure, sure, sure. All right. Why'd you agree to do these fuckers? Honestly, <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just, I was like, these are my buddies, and I love them, so let's fucking get to it. Let's have some fun. And I mean, realistically, I was just looking at it as like a group of friends just joking around, and I wasn't expecting us to actually get as far, this far with our <laughs> channel. Like, we're not we, very far. We're not very we're, far, we're but we're far. doing pretty good for like five kids in high school that joke around and don't even take it seriously. Yeah. I mean, that's just, that's my opinion. Mm -hmm. That's my opinion. All right. How do you feel about the channel so far? Which direction do you think we need to lean towards and go in to really make it a little better? Well, how I feel about it so far? Mm -hmm. It's not a complete waste of time. I've had people tell me that we are wasting our time doing this. <laughs> and I kind of just look at them and it's just like, what are you doing with your time? I'm like, what are you doing with your time? We're just five guys who are we're, we're brothers, and we just have fun, and we don't take it seriously. I'm like, the only thing that we take seriously is the music that we all make together. Like, we all have our own thing that we do. Mm -hmm. And I think the whole surrounding of our group in this channel was really just us having fun with Right. It. I mean, that's the thing about it is, like, we're just a group of guys who are your average, or not really, we have. We are so far above the average. Think we about have the it. group ever. We're the most mixed match group you'll ever meet. We mm -hmm. have, we have emo. We have punk. We have fucking hip hop hipster kid who wears <laughs> cat sweatshirts. We got the fucking Lionel Messi lookalike. We got the fat kid who's Boy, fucking was eight hundred pounds. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Jeremy. I fucking love you. You're not eight hundred pounds. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, but see, the way I want the channel to head on in the future is uh, I, I really want us to develop to a point where we can actually go somewhere in life. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I want us to not be able to say that, yeah, we had a YouTube channel and we had, like, maybe 100 subscribers total mm -hmm. in, like, the long run. Like, I want us to get big. I want us to be known across America and possibly the entire world. Because I feel like we have, we have a few viewers up in Canada already. Uh, fucking Canada doesn't count, man. I'm talking. <laughs> I want, it's not nothing against Canada. I love Canada. It's a great place. The people are very nice. I just want more European and possibly Asian. Okay. I mean, because if you think about it, I'm not trying to fuck any Asians. The cameraman is looking at me provocatively. <laughs> I speak of Asians, but the thing about it is, I'm thinking the more we have across the sea, the more the word spreads. Okay. Because I mean, if you look at because there's like way more people over there right. than there are over Think, of, over think here. of India. They got how many billions of those motherfuckers oh, right now? Tons. We get some billion. We get a billion Indians watching our shit. Come on, slumdog millionaire motherfucker. <laughs> I'm talking to represent. I want like. So you really want this channel to go big? I do, and that's the thing about. Can I go ahead and talk about our movie? No, no, no. Disclose it. All right, keep guys, it, that's that's disclosed. Keep it that's all disclosed. our future stuff. We're coming out with some skits and some vlogs. Disclosed. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Let's say I want to give them a sneak peek. Peek. I'm not gonna tell them these stories, but I was gonna tell them an idea. No, I'll keep that. I, I, I'll keep that on the deal. Keep them waiting. Y'all, y'all know. Eventually. <laughs> Next question, please. What are your aspirations for this channel? Like, what do you really hope to achieve from it? I know you said you hope we go well, big. I mean, like, I, I don't want to say that I want money. Mm -hmm. But I really fucking like money. <laughs> I think just about it. I mean, does. like, if we could, if I could honestly say that I have positively impacted anyone's life, that would be my one goal with this channel. Let's know that I have helped another kid live another day. Okay. Because, like, I feel I like some kids out there, like, they look for laughs because they're always down. Mm -hmm. And if we can be responsible for that one kid who laughs another day and doesn't end his or her life, because of lacking that 
you know, that comical, that comical drive that keeps them going. It's just like I want to be that one reason that we helped someone. Okay. And that's like that's my biggest goal in life is just to know that we've helped kids. I like that, Charlie. I, like, I mean, that's just that's how I look at it. Mm-hmm. Same thing with my music. Like I just try to make people want to like feel a little better. Yeah, feel better. Like I like that. Like not to take life shitty. Because mm-hmm. I mean, as shitty as life gets, you can always make it better. Yeah. I like that, John. Thank you. Mm-hmm. What's something you really hope to do with the channel or on the channel? I can't spoil it because it's like I want to say it. All right, look, I'm just going to say one thing. I'm making a fucking movie. <laughs> and it's going to be fucking great. Whether you like it or not, suck a dick. Because it's going to be fucking together great. and make a movie. We're going to make channel. a fucking movie. Right, and it's going to be beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Like, I, I hate to be so cocky about it, but it's just like I, I know my writing ability and I know our acting ability when we actually sit down and try to do things. We're group. not that bad. We can we upload it in real stuff, but we're not bad. I mean, we can get some. Done. We can get some shit done. I'll put it this way: I'm looking forward to working with Tyler and you and Jeremy and Mason all together in the same same vicinity. I'm just, I'm really looking forward to that. It's going to be very, very interesting because not only will we have that comical drive, we'll also have that serious tone. Yeah. And that mainly little, you and I. A little pure mixture of just different people. Right. I just I love the idea of blending five mm-hmm. different cultural backgrounds into one group. And that's just that's gonna that's be really fun. what we are. We are a like, whole different bunch of people. You got the hip hop, you, you got the hard rock, you got together. the screamo, you got the emo, you got the <laughs> punk music, you got bias. I love how diverse we are too, because we have like I listen to various groups like G I listen to G Easy. He's a rapper, but then I listen to like Red Hot Chili Peppers and The Killers, and then I listen to like Katy Perry and shit. <laughs> and people look at me and they're like, "Bro, you like Katy Perry?" I'm like, "I love Katy it. Perry's my fucking jams." And Lord, man, Lord is my guilty <laughs> pleasure. <laughs> like if I hear Lord, you're gonna see me just like fall back in my chair, like, "Yes." Her voice is beautiful. Anyway, uh, next question: How's being on this channel changed you as a person, if at all? Well, it has changed me. I'm not going to sit there and lie and say it hasn't changed me. Mm-hmm. It really has made me more open-minded to the, the world. And it, it's made me think a lot about what we can do as people. Because I have very high hopes for all of my friends. Mm-hmm. Even though I'm not the best person. It's just like, I have very high hopes. I don't hopes. think any of us really are. None of us are. We're assholes. We're all assholes. Exactly. <laughs> but the thing about it is, like, we just, we have potential. And I, it's changed me a lot. It's made me, like, it's kind of like what Tyler was saying. I've, we've all grown up, and we really have. If you look at how we behaved a year ago and compare it to now, we have all really changed and gotten more serious, and we've gotten more into it, and we've mm-hmm. become more intimate with our interactions with one another, and we've become more intimate with the, the channel. And that's something that I really, really appreciate, is the fact that we have all changed enough to where we can take something serious for once. Mm-hmm. So having a year That's ago... That's just like uh, fucking around. Yeah, a year ago, a year ago, we'd be like, oh, 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 fuck titties, bitch. And like, <laughs> like, we would get probably like 17 views. But now it's like we're actually trying to get out there and, and make doing stuff. our That's name known. And I, like, I love that. I love that yeah. shit very much. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, next question. You ever thought about quitting the channel? Honestly, no. Really? Honestly, no, I haven't. Because the, the main reason is is because... Like Tyler was saying, I feel like people have brought in. I've brought in a good number of views. You I'm not trying to really sound. Have. I'm not trying to sound cocky. And be I like, understand. <laughs> you like, really have. Like looking at the videos and stuff, you've pulled in quite a few. And the thing about it is just like, I like comedy. I love to act. Mm-hmm. I love to write and stuff like that. So it's just like, I've never thought about quitting because I have like very high hopes and dreams for this channel, and that's like the main reason I've never thought about quitting. I like that. All right, well, we're going to welcome in our guest with his question. Tyler, come on in. So, guys, we got a question up for, for uh, Chandler this evening. Hey, man. What's up? Uh, right, well, on, I've just been wondering this for actually a while. Uh, on the daily, how many women do you come in contact with, and how many out of that amount do you flirt with? Well, I'll put it this way. Uh, I don't really flirt a lot. I'm just very social. People often look at me and they're like, 
Dude, you flirt with like every girl you meet. Little womanizer. That's what everyone <laughs> says to me. I'm just like, I really don't. Like, I'm just, I'm very social. I like to make friends. And I'll befriend a fucking milk carton if I could. <laughs> if, it, if I knew it was going to sit there and have a conversation back with me, I would fucking make friends. Well, you had to be like that to be fucking friends with me. I mean, just shut the fuck up. Listen, <laughs> listen to my answer. All right, well, every day, out of all the girls I meet every day, it just, I mean, because there's some days where I don't meet any people. Mm-hmm. But on those days that I do meet people, let's say I met about 30, 30 girls. So I met 30 girls every day. I went to like a fucking party or something, I met 30 girls. Out of all of them, I guarantee you I would only flirt with probably one or two at the max. If any. And the others just reading it wrong? If they, <laughs> if they take my, my socialization as flirting, it's just that is their mistake. Because one, I'm a very friendly guy. That's how I was raised. Yeah. Two, I like to see people laugh. That's like my thing. I love to see people laugh. And if they have an awesome laugh, I'll continue to make them laugh. Because, like, white girl laughs, they're the best. You can't beat them. <laughs> Especially if they're, like, intoxicated white girl laughs. Oh, God. They're like, ah. It's just like, it's like, you sound so fucking dumb, girl. Keep laughing. <laughs> I mean, <coughs> excuse me, I have cancer. No, I don't. That's <laughs> it, bro. It's not really recording, but that's marijuana. That's what it does to you, children. I'm just kidding. I don't do that. Shh. <laughs> if case cops are watching, good. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yes, I really don't flirt a lot. That's the thing is, I go I go around school and people are like, oh, Trevor Hunter is like the biggest flirt ever, and I'm just like, I'm really not. You I feel like, like you might make biggest flirt come our senior oh, year. I swear to God, bro. Everybody's like, everybody's like, you flirt with everyone. I'm like, I really don't. Like, I just try to be nice, and it's like, you know what? I, I mean, I am a flirt because if I like a girl and she's hot looking. She's just like she's fucking gorgeous. I'm gonna tell her to. I'm gonna, like, you are fucking gorgeous. Like, I will not hesitate. Like, I know there's a couple girls that we go to school with that I've said that to like in person. They they sit there and they're just like, like I look so ugly. I'm like, shut the fuck up. You are fucking gorgeous. I'm like, look at you. You you have like long gorgeous hair. You have like tan skin. I'm just like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, bitch, look at me. I'm like a 200 pound mammoth. With the fucking lion's mane of Jesus <laughs> and wearing cat sweaters and fucking picnic pants shorts <laughs> and you're sitting over here like I'm ugly and I'm fat and it's like girl <laughs> shut up you're like you got like a waist size of zero if I was I'm just like oh god damn it just, <laughs> I, could, I could blabber on about white girls for days but yeah I mean I'm really not a big flirt but like you said I could see myself getting that senior year I really could I actually just, if you don't mind, I had one more question that just came to mind. What are your aspirations with your music? Your, your rapping, your well, mixtape, everything. What are your aspirations with that? Well, I um, understand it would be another thing for another day. Let her sit, let her sit here and vlog about it, maybe? Yeah, actually, let's just do a vlog about it. Yeah, look, I, I'll, I'll just give you a little bit of idea of what I want to write. I want to get big. All right. I want to get well-known, and I want to make people... Hear my shit. <laughs> I do plan to drop a mixtape before we go back to school, which is in five weeks. So I, I really got to get my shit together. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Yeah, become number one. <laughs> I got to get eleven songs within five weeks, which I can. I'm very capable. Very bad. No, because I can get eleven songs in one night. <laughs> You've done it before. You've done fifteen. You give me a bag of something and a bottle of something. <laughs> <laughs> a bag of Cheerios and a bottle of water. You guys are ridiculous. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> that was drugs, exactly. <laughs> Cheerios are my crack cocaine. Smash it up. I mean, no, I'm not even oh, thinking of that, that one. I was thinking hiding that shit. Purifying That's the hard shit, shit Injecting it, purifying it, put it right in my own <laughs> I'm joking completely. Please do not try this at home. You will die. You will, you will fucking die, and I'm not going to jail for you being stupid. Anyway, but I really do hope to get big with music and the mixtape. I'm not going to say the name of it yet. That'll be something for a vlog because I've already got the name for it. I've had the name for two years now. It's a really simple name. I like it. Clever. Mm-hmm. T-shirts. You motherfuckers better buy my T-shirts and my hoodies and possibly beanies. We'll be sending out a vlog on that and hooking up all of the links to the site where you can buy it. It's going to be beautiful. There's going to be like 8,000 colors. <laughs> I like colors. 
and possibly mushrooms and all that good stuff, guys. All right, that's all the time we have for tonight. Chandler, thank you for coming out. The problem, man. Tyler, yeah. nice question. Yeah, man. Shake, some, shake some half of fat. <laughs> all, right. all right, well, this has been these fuckers. Go like, subscribe. Share it with all your friends. Go post it on the uh, interwebs, all your social networking, <laughs> you social junkie motherfuckers. Amen. It's been these fuckers again. Tune in next time. Love you, America.